Hey friends, welcome back to Living It Country. Last week we shared with you all the demoing of my mom's farmhouse styled home, taking out the carpet, the fireplace, the tile. And today we're gonna be sharing the process of installing this beautiful vinyl flooring by Life Proof. This is the restored wood style. We have had this in multiple homes. We had it in our tiny home we used to live in. We have it in our home now. We're actually adding more to our living room as well. And today we're gonna to be installing it in my mom's house. This is a different color than ours, but we actually prefer this style better. It's got more grooves in it, so it's less slippery. And so today I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys installing it. We love this product because you don't have to put anything on the base of the flooring. You just seriously click it in. It's just such a smooth process. So I'm so excited to take you guys along today's journey with us. I know that you are having trouble believing right now. Now, while my hubby is working on the entryway, I'm just vacuuming up all the little nails and making sure it's ready to go for my husband when he starts on the living room section. So I'm just piling up those vinyl floorings to get ahead, and that way his portion is a breeze. We also got some new vents, and this could be easily fixed with paint, but we wanted to go with this bronze kind of look for this space. Okay, Jason has his setup outside. And just cut the vent. So the way we're gonna do this flooring is we're going all the way across using the leftover piece. And then starting right here. And we have these little spacers Jason picked up today, this morning to help everything align really, really perfectly. They're the kids. Coming in from the garage with Grandma. Once we get past this one vent right here, it's going to be smooth, smooth? It's not smooth, smooth saline for a huge majority of this flooring. Um, because there will be very minimal cutting until you get to this point. So, I'm really excited. Now, while we're breezing through this project, I just wanted to take a moment and thank Skillshare for partnering with us on today's video. They have been a longtime supporter of the Living It Country channel. And if you haven't heard of them before from us, they are an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. I have been loving it for exploring my new skills in myself and empowering myself to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life with lessons that can help you stay inspired and express yourself. I personally love Emily Henderson's class and Lauren Cox's class for their interior design courses. One thing I love about Skillshare is they are incredibly affordable and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. If you wanna try Skillshare for yourself, the first thousand people to use the link in my description box will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. The sun is always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. Now, I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you quite a few things we love about this product. There's always some things that you know, you don't end up loving as much, but a couple of things we do like is it's scratch resistant, it's waterproof, and it's stain resistant. And we actually love it so much that we're gonna be extending it into our living room. Now, it is a little bit more expensive than the typical flooring because on normal ones, you have to put something underneath the base of the flooring and you don't have to do that with this. And I personally love it because you can actually get it at your local Home Depot and for a few of their styles, they do have those in stock and then you can just pick it up and install it the same day. One thing I wanna tap into is the cost. It is $3.19 a square foot, which ends up making it $63.98 per case. We did use 21 boxes 
in the living room, the kitchen, and down two hallways. Making this project cost a little over $1,200. If this is a video that you guys would want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial on, let me know in the comment section down below because we will be installing this in our living room as well as hallways to our kids' bedrooms and our guest bathroom. And so if you guys want to see a detailed video on that installation process, let me know and I would be more than happy to do that. Now, if you guys are longtime viewers of Live In It Country, you know that we love getting our kids involved and having them try and attempt to do the DIY projects with us, even if it's just for a few moments. And my kids love making sure everybody knows that they helped with this particular project in grandma's house. Hot as fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even when it's 90 degrees without me, I bet that you can get in the sleep in the bed, lying away. Cause I'm not there beside you. If you're looking at doing this project in your home, I highly recommend you actually go to the physical store and feel it for yourself. The feeling of my vinyl flooring versus my mom's is completely different. My mom's has more of a groove to it and texture where ours isn't, so ours is more slippery. And for some reason in different areas of our home, um, I have slipped a few times. And so I really, really like my mom's, especially for my grandma who is elderly. And so we have it all one flooring instead of the three to four different floorings throughout the home so that while she's walking, she can walk with ease with her slippers or with her shoes. And there's going to be, you know, no sort of danger for her. It is looking good. It's about one fourth of the way done. I would say one fourth. There's a little sneak peek of the bedroom we just redid. The only thing that needs to still happen is to get a bed frame, but I don't even know if my mom is gonna be doing that. So here's what it's looking like. I decided on this wall right here, we're gonna do a gallery wall. That way when you walk right in, cause that's where the dining room's gonna be. I thought about doing a mirror. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. But this is what it's looking like. It's taken us about four hours so far. Four hours. I'm kind of pooped and I've barely done anything. <laughs> If you guys want a full material list of items we use, products we use, I will do my best to link everything in the description box below for a one-stop shop. And just in case you have the best memory ever, these are the products that we did use during this tutorial. We used a measuring tape, spacers, a plastic mallet, plastic block with grooves, a miter saw, we used a jigsaw, and then we also used transition pieces for the vinyl planks and then the vinyl planks as well. I would love to know in the comment section down below what DIY projects would inspire you here on our channel. We have on our to-do list a DIY fireplace from scratch. We also have a DIY fireplace makeover. We have built-ins in the works as well as an accent wall. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. If you guys prefer whole room makeovers as well versus just DIYs at a time. Oh. 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 Oh.
So say you can get it. You want to top from right here and you want to hit it that way, okay? Yeah, it's you the river. Okay, so top. Uh -huh. Start over here and then work down. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. What do you think? Was it easy to do? Yeah! Here is what the progress is looking like and who is ready for this DIY vinyl flooring reveal. It snowed last night. We are going to go inside and here we go. Here's the entryway. Um, here is the cute little bench from Antique Farmhouse that my mom ordered. And it's really open to space up with all three of the floorings all being one. So this is where the tile was, the carpet was, and then over there the uh, random wood flooring. There's hubby. And the next project is going to be the fireplace area and then the face trim and the window trim. So this is what it looks like. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and the final reveal. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.